In this video, I want to discuss digital data to digital single encoding technique. Um, and there are a few possibilities, but we will discuss on non return 0L, non return 0 inverted, bipolar, alternate mark inversion, AMI, zero ternary, and Manchester. These few techniques to convert digital data to digital signal. Uh, I have put some ra a random binary number uh, I will that binary number is a digital data so I want to convert this digital data binary number into a uh, digital signal using any of these uh, encoding techniques in this chart I have separated the interval of each data so this interval is for data 0 this interval is for data 1 this interval for this data this interval for this data and so on. So I have separated the interval, single interval, and we can assume that within each interval, you can either send some high voltage or low voltage or positive voltage or negative voltage or zero voltage. So you can assume in each interval, you can send positive voltage or negative voltage or low, low zero voltage. So we can say this is zero voltage this may be negative volt and this may be positive volt so this is true for each of these for each of these cases this is true you can send positive volt or negative volt or zero volt um, now as i said uh, non return to zero means in when when you have zero data you encode high high level voltage when you have one data you encode low level voltage having said that so we can encode this 0 high level, 1 is low level, 0 is high level, G0 is high level and so on. But when you have multiple level, at this transition, this interval, you have to show transition. You have to connect them to show transition. Here they are connected. So here 1 should be low level, so you have to connect. Similarly, this, this one is low level. This zero is high level, high level, high level, one is low level, low level. So that's how you encode this digital data into digital signal using NRZL encoding technique. So here this is high level, high, high voltage level, and this is low voltage level. And in here it should be zero voltage, you know, we don't have zero voltage in NRZL. Then I want to discuss this one, NRZ inverted. In this is in this case, zero means no transition at the beginning of the interval, and one means transition at the beginning of interval. So, whatever state you are, transition means you invert the state zero to high to low level, low to high level. So, zero means no transition. Let's say initially, at the beginning of this encoding. Let's say we are at low level. This is low level, this is high level, and this is zero. So at the beginning, if we are low level, so we don't have transition at the beginning because it is zero. Because it is this data is one at the beginning of this interval, you must make a transition from if it is zero to if it is low level, you have to turn the transition to zero high voltage, high voltage. If it is high voltage, you have to transition to low voltage. So, um, one means transition, zero means no transition, so you continue, zero means no transition, so you continue, one means transition, so from high to low you change, again one means transition, from low to high you change, zero means no transition, you continue, 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 one means transition, so you change from high to low, Again, transition, so you change from low to high, and so on. So that's how we have converted this digital data into um, digital signal. You see, this is digital because it is discrete. It abruptly jumped. Uh, and and uh, this encoding technique we have applied in these cases. So far, I have shown these two. Now, let's focus on this bipolar AMI. Bipolar, bipolar AMI says that uh, you have to, uh, con when, when you have zero data, you don't have any any voltage. That means you have 
zero voltage. You can say you have zero voltage at this level. Uh, but when you have one, then you can send positive level voltage or negative level voltage. Alternatively, if you have this one positive level, next one will be negative level. This one will be positive level. This one negative. This one positive. So it depends on you how you start. If you start from positive, it, it next one will be negative, and so on. So let's see how we can convert. How can we convert this digital data into digital signal using bipolar AMI? So zero means no signal. So voltage should be at this middle. One means alternatively positive or negative signal. So let's say initially we send positive transition, positive level voltage. Zero means no signal. So I am in the middle. Middle means no signal. Zero means no signal again. Um, then one means you have to uh, send us either high or low level signal because it was high previously. So I will send a negative level signal, low level signal. This one means again either high or low because I had low at the here. So I will have high signal in this case. Zero means no signal. So I can say zero voltage, which is here. So zero means no signal, no signal. Now one means high or low, depending on the previous one. Previous one was high voltage. So I will send low voltage. This one should be high voltage and I will jump to high voltage. Now. So that's how we convert uh, this digital data using bipolar MI to this digital signal. I want to convert this digital data using zero tunnel technique. Zero tunnel is kind of opposite of this one, bipolar A1, which says that zero should be either positive or negative level signal alternatively in each successive zeros, and one means no line signal. So at the beginning, this is let's say this is zero and this is high voltage, this is low voltage. Now um, at the beginning, let's say we want to convert, we have this zero voltage at high, then one mean no voltage here, so you connect this. Then zero, next zero means either high or low, because the previous one high, so you should have low here. You should have low here. Then the next one means, next zero is high alternatively this was the low so next one will be high one means no signal so in the middle one no signal in the middle zero means because this was high you should go low here because this was uh, this is transition so uh, you should send high or low here and this was low so you should go to high this was high so you should go for low here this is no signal, so you are in the middle, in the middle, and so on. So that's how we convert zero tonality, which is kind of opposite of this one. Finally, Manchester signal technique says that zero means transition uh, from high to low in the middle of the interval. So zero means transition from high to low in the middle of interval. One means transition from low to high in the middle of interval. One mean transition from low to high in the middle of interval. So using this technique, I can convert the whole data, digital data. So basically, uh, initially we have zero, so we can transition from high to low. Then next one is one, so we transition from low to high. Now you have to connect them. You have to connect these two. Then uh, zero means transition from high to low so you go down this way in the middle in the middle of the interval remember the difference between this and this particular one Manchester is that Manchester turn to transition in the middle non technique do transition between the interval you see but this one is in the middle of interval anyway zero means high to low transition again zero this zero means high to low transition because you cannot connect this way so you want to do high to low transition, so you have to change this here. 
then one means low to high transition so you can connect them then one means low to high transition so you cannot connect this if you you have to go down and then connect this zero means high to low you can connect this zero means high to low but this case again you cannot connect this way we have to go this way and connect them zero means high to low again you have to do transition in the interval one means uh, low to high one means low to high and so on so this is how you convert uh, digital data into di digital signal using many different techniques